Good day, everyone. Again, this is Teacher Farsi, your grade one teacher. Our lesson for today is about addition using work rubric. Bago ang lahat, magdasal mo na tayo. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings you showered upon us. We ask forgiveness for all our sins. Please protect us and guide us for the activity we have today. Please give us wisdom and knowledge to make all the things possible. Let them understand and continue them to bless for whatever may reasons. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Children, our lesson for today is about addition using grouping property. Mga bata, tingnan natin ang mga objects. Ito ay mga drawings ni Rihanna, Sheena, and Tina. Rihanna, Sheena, and Tina got different numbers of sun. Rihanna has three sun. Sheena has five sun. And Tina has two sun. If we are going to put the sun all together, how many in all? So mga bata, pagsamasamahin natin yung mga sun nila, Rina, Sheena, and Tina. So paano natin ito gagawin? We need to add the number of sun to get its total. So pagsamasamahin natin yung nagawa nilang tatlo. Adding three one-digit numbers can be done alone using two steps. Dadaan tayo sa dalawang proseso. First, we add the number of the two addends. So, pagsamasamahin muna natin yung Sanila Rina at Sheena. Then, after that, we are going to add the sum of the two to the number of son of Tina. Then, after that, on step two, you are going to add the total number of son of Rihanna and Sheena to the son of Tina. Ngayon mga bata, yung total natin sa nakukuha o nagawa ni Narina at Sheena, ipagsama natin sa nagawa ni Tina. So, how are we going to do this one? Paano natin ito ngayon gagawin? So, we are going to group first. So, our addition sentence is 3 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to blank. So, we are going to group first the 3 and 5. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Then, we are going to add 2. So, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Or, we can do this one in another way. So, 3 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to. So, you can group first 5 plus 2. So, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So, we are going to add 3 plus 7. So, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Mga bata, ano kaya ang tawag natin dito? May mga idea ba kayo? Okay. Ang tawag natin dito is associative property of addition. I have here another example. Mga bata, try natin tingnan. Paano pa natin ito gagawin ngayon? So, we have 2 plus 3 plus 9 is equal to 40. So, how are we going to arrive this one in an ECS way? So, we are going to group first 2 plus 3. Then, we are going to add. After that, we add 9. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then, idagdag natin ang 9. So, 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. Or, we can group again this one. So, we're going to add 2 plus, i-group muna natin ang 3 at ang 9. So, the sum of 3 and 9, we're going to add it by 2. So, 2 plus 12 is equal to 14. I have here another example. 4 plus 6 is plus 2 is equal to 12. So, how are we going to do this one again? Paano natin ito ulit gagawin? So, i-group muna natin ang 4 at 6. So, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. After that one, we add 2. So, 10 plus 2. 
So our result is 12. Or we can do this way, another way. So we're going to group first 6 plus 2. So 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Then we're going to add 4. So our addition sentence is 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. So mga bata, is there any idea about associative property of addition? Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng associative property of addition? Okay, very good. Associative property of addition shows that changing the group of addends does not affect the sum. So kahit balibalik ta rin natin ang grupo ng ating mga addends mga bata, lalabas pa rin yung parihong sagot. So adding 3 to 1 digit numbers can easily be done by grouping the addends. So mabilis natin mapagsama-sama ang isang numero or ang tatlong numero pag ito ay pinag-group natin. So thank you mga bata. I hope you learned something from our lesson. See you again next time. Have a good day.